My guest today is not only an amazing actor, but he is also a successful producer and an even better human being. Welcome to Baatein and Kahi with Ravi Dubey. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this, Ravi. Thank you for having me here. We've been trying this for very long. Finally, it's happening. I'm so happy. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Before we start the conversation, uh, the format of the show is to surprise you. Okay. So there's someone close to you. The person has sent a special message to you. It's not Sargun. Ah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's always a go-to. <laughs> yeah, because I know you expect Sargun. Ah. So this is not Sargun, but somebody very very close to okay. you. So I'm gonna play the message. I hope you like it. All right, all right. Let's so, do it. Ah, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is pretty classic. You have a tape recorder. Mr. Ravi Dubey. Mr. Dubey. Mr. Miriam. Um, if you're listening to this. Uh, which i know you are cuz i'm sending this to you on a show <laughs> of course you're listening to this <laughs> but mere bhai tujhe pata hai um, uh, you know who you are uh, tu mere liye uh, mere uh, jeevan mein kya maayne rakhta hai you know um, tu uh, tu wo nasur hai mere jeevan ka jise main chaah ke bhi apne jeevan se nahi nikal sakta bhai tu uh, जीवन का मेरे सबसे बड़ा मतलब मेरे सबसे बड़ा कमीना है भाई तुझसे बड़ा आज तक नहीं देखा मैंने कभी नहीं देखा भाई तुझसे रोज सीखता हूँ कि मैं एक दिन तेरे जैसा कमीना बन सकूँ और वो कब आएगा दिन मुझे नहीं पता कब आएगा लेकिन यार मेरे भाई आई आई लव यू आई रवि आई लव यू सो मच to um, uh, to whoever is listening to this <laughs> of course there are many people listening to this because it's an interview <laughs> to everybody who is listening to this a terrible uh, sense of humor hamare hamare papa hai i think main manta hu hum hum kai sare logo ke pitaji hai har har mahine mein we learn from him i learn from him at least main to bahut zyada manta hu ki is kutte se mujhe bahut seekhne ko milta hai din raat and i i look up to you man i look up to you in so many ways or uh, you freaking inspire me every single day um with the way you think with the way you live with the way you um uh proceed with your life every single day ravi uh, i can't tell you there is um uh, you're definitely a freaking blessing and i'm not kidding about this ye koi mazak nahi you're a blessing and i think I'm, we must have definitely done something right to be to be friends in this this um uh, lifetime that we are and honestly I want to make the most of it. Uh, से सब कुछ सीखूंगा तुझसे तेरी सारी uh, जो अच्छी चीजें हैं उनसे इंस्पायर होके आई आई मेक माई लाइफ सो मच मोर बेटर एंड आई लव यू सो मच आई लव यू सो सो मच मेरे भाई एंड मैंने सही कहा यार तू मेरे जीवन का वो नासूर है जिसे मैं चाह के भी कभी नहीं निकाल सकता <laughs> और मैं तुझे बता रहा हूँ ब्रो ब्रो तू है ना तू एक तुझसे बड़ा एक नंबर का हमारा पापा है बहुत सारी चीजों में वी लुक अप टू पापा एंड वी लव यू अपने बच्चों पे अपना आशीर्वाद हमेशा बनाए रखना है है मेरा बेटा है। We love you. <laughs> King. King <Dube. laughs> That's... मेरी जान। <laughs> म्यूचुअल लव i uh, i really love him like i said you know there have been many phases in our in our friendship which are which are very private to me and prithvik but uh, uh, even though he's got a terrible sense of humor absolutely pathetic he sucks at it you know he's he's a terrible mimic you saw how he <laughs> mimicked yeah. karan bhai you know, it is atrocious <laughs> atrocious so jute padta hai agar stage pe karta who did he mimic that was karan bhai you couldn't get oh, it no no that's no. exactly my point oh acha <laughs> that's exactly my point <laughs> 
but uh, jokes apart you know he's he's someone who's very very close to me ha uh-huh. very close to me and i um you know he's he's like family yeah. really like family as you could have made out by the yeah, yeah. No, little it, recording that he sent and he's does. generous with words he's very kind with words it does ravi uh, you mentioned the highs and the lows to shuru se shuruaat karte hain uh, but tell me how true is it every fail engineer is a very good actor i don't know about that <laughs> I, i um yeah engineering was was a tough uh, journey for me yeah tough journey but a tough journey that i ended up finishing so uh, i don't know about if if all engineers but i it's kind of a pattern that most engineers they after the engineering actually do not pursue engineering as a profession and they always kind of diversify and you know take another yeah. route or uh, you know so they take a detour and become something else yeah. so that's kind of been a common pattern i don't know what the curse of the engineer is or the boon of the engineer is yeah. i don't really know that yeah yeah but journalism happened before engineering or after engineering simultaneously 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 <laughs> why did you choose that path I don't know I wasn't really finding a ground uh, in engineering you know I was I was always kind of at loggerheads with the course uh, I came to Mumbai in 2001 to pursue the course and uh, from the very first semester I found myself to have a disconnect uh, I think if I was as voracious a, a reader right now I think I would have excelled completely in my grades but mm. I think it is the it is when you are expected to do something is exactly when you do not do it mm. probably that's that's a trait in my personality that i'm realizing as i'm talking to you today for the first time sure and uh, so i was kind of jumping wagons and matlab main engineering kar raha tha us waqt mujhe mujhe laga ki shayad mujhe kuch aur pursue karna chahiye to main ek dusra full degree course to nahi kar sakta tha kyunki main engineering mein degree kar raha tha aur pura din jo hai usme chala jata tha to i took up uh, a a kind of a diploma i signed up for where i used to go there for my evening classes so i i of course wanted to always be in the industry but i never really thought that that could be possible so i was taking all these odd routes ki shayad kahin wo alignment mil jaye wo synergy mil jaye aur wo breakthrough jo main talash raha hu life mein wo ho jaye magar ye jis saal maine journalism pursue kiya uska agla saal jo hai wo i couldn't clear that year so that's when i kind of you know started giving auditions and the industry was kind enough to embrace me but these were tough times as well right ravi from the mistake and i i said i read somewhere that apparently this is the path where you apparently even contemplated suicide now i i would imagine you were what 22 23 at this point in mm-hmm. time um it's a hard thing to decide mm. at that age um do you think you gave up easily Yeah yeah I do I think uh, you know I mean it's a matter of not your circumstances it's the matter of your life condition it's a matter of your life force so if your life force is weak uh pretty much like our immune system the smallest of the infections can get very overwhelming but if your immune system is strong your anatomical immune system and your spiritual immune system as well then the biggest of the crisis uh, will not be overwhelming you might even be actually able to derive a lot of benefit out of it so it's entirely a matter of life force i think at that point of time my life force was very weak so it wasn't the fact that i was failing in engineering but i thought that there is no path forward iske agar maine 4 saal de diye ghar wale itna paisa lagane they have invested their time money and more important than that their faith in me and uh, i go to college and i just go to college hmm. mechanically that's about it i'm not present there you know i'm i'm in my own head i'm somewhere and i can't even pinpoint with accuracy where is that you know where is that because if i find that then i might be actually able to find ki where am i supposed to be heading right now but there was there was this i was constantly constantly with a foggy brain just walking like a zombie during that time and that kind of got a little overwhelming uh but um you know as i as i reflect back on it um reflect back on it that time has truly made me very very powerful on the inside and uh, has given me a kind of a, a, a an inner immune system you know a spiritual immune system that can withstand anything because i've i've seen more crises after that but at, i think i have been very very optimistic when in the face of it and uh, in fact i've been very convinced that it's happening for the greater glory mm. and uh, more often than not it has turned out to be that सो सो वो जो हमारे बड़े बुजुर्ग कहा करते थे ना कि अगर ये मान लो कि जो हो रहा है वो अच्छे के लिए हो रहा है 
तो जो हो रहा है वो अच्छे के लिए होता चला जाता है अगर मान लो कि यार ये जो हो रहा है ये इट इज गोइंग टू कंप्लीटली ओवरवेल्म एंड डिस्ट्रॉय वंस लाइफ एंड एग्जिस्टेंस एंड सेल्फ वर्थ एंड वॉट नॉट एंड वर्ल्ड व्यू एंड वॉट नॉट देन देन दैट वुड दैट इज वॉट वुड हैपन सो द चॉइस एंटायरली लाइज एंड हाउ यू परसिविंग इट वॉट सेव यू बैक देन Spirituality would be would be a major thing. Spending time with yourself in silence would be a major thing because what actually overwhelms you is not the circumstance; it's the noise, and the noise is within. So if you can somehow find a way to quiet that noise, you will be able to see that the next moment has not yet happened. Hmm. You know, so the, it is a moment of pure potentiality. So you can empower you more than anybody else. Yeah. So choosing on the right kind of people to invest in, the right kind of conversations to invest in. the right kind of content to invest in the right kind of books to invest in the right kind of uh, the right kind of everything basically so sure. that that choice is really going to empower you it it is going to make your roots really really strong sure how did acting happen in all of this then because like you said you were almost days or you walking like a zombie when this rough time was going on um what gave you the strength to get up and go to auditions each and every day because auditions initially also brings a lot of rejections along. oh yes I, the, the, the rejections though it's you should welcome them no i mean in life i think uh, it is the rejections is what will push you back to the drawing board yeah. i remember the first ever audition that i gave of course audition ki line mein to khada hua hai magar incidentally jo pehla diya na wo ek uh, ek car commercial ka tha तो उसमें सिलेक्शन हो गया शूटिंग से एक दिन पहले दे सेट द रेड आइज फिल्म्स करके एक प्रोडक्शन हाउस हुआ करता था सो so, उनका फ़ोन आया और उन्होंने कहा जी आप न्यूली वेड हस्बैंड के लिए बहुत यंग लगते हैं तो मैं उस टाइम बीस सिक्स साल का था मैं तो उस टाइम एक बीजे हुआ करते थे आदित्य हितकारी जी ही एंडेड अप डूइंग दैट कमर्शल टू गेट इन माई स्ट्राइड नो प्रॉब्लम बट दैट टू बिकेम अ ब्लेसिंग इन डिस गाइज आई थिंक बाई देन माई एटीट्यूड टू लाइफ एट कम्प्लीटली चेंज because it gave me an uh, they somehow i felt the production house was a little guilty for not casting me the lady who was actually casting na hmm. so she sends the disappointment in my voice when she told me that you're not shooting and i got back to my business and everything two months later that same girl called me and she was like no this time you don't need to audition there is this advertisement the budget is half of what uh, and it was a ridiculously small amount at the time which uh, uh, was no problem ah. you know the whole thing was to face the camera the whole thing was to work which still is a bigger priority than money mm-hmm. always has been so she said that uh, th- there is this director called shujit sarkar that's directing the wow. advertisement so my first television show was produced by dilip saab and my first ever advertisement was directed by shujit sarkar so i think they all everything just kind of this is providence it's just what nature does for you you can't foresee it yeah i'm deeply grateful for the way things happen rather than how i make them happen Yeah. I don't know if I'm making any sense with that. Let life take its own course is exactly. what you mean. Sure. Exactly. I saw your TED talk where you mentioned it was very important for you to have a show of your own uh where you were the protagonist mm-hmm. in a space of television which is primarily known as a women led film mm-hmm. or a women led space uh mm-hmm. to be more specific. Um was it tough to get there because I think that happened a few years you being into the business. I remember 2012 last day of Sasbana Sasural I committed to myself the next show I did do is going to be a male protagonist show acha it's a delusional commitment to self hmm. it's a delusional commitment you know that you know there is there is no such thing as a male protagonist show in indian television you yeah. know it's it's just like uh, certain industries would be ma- seemingly male dominated yeah. in that sense television is largely a you know the protagonist the, there are male leads there are no su- there is no such thing as a male protagonist i agree so even today i don't see too many maybe not but i think it it for the time being it it opened a path for absolutely some people to invest in in invest in men also as protagonists and i think that 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 kind of disruptive thinking is required even mm-hmm. right now a lateral thinking so uh, 2012 i decided ki nahi yaar agla jo agar maine tv karna hai aur television fiction karna hai to par I don't just want to be a male lead. I want to be the protagonist of the show. It has to be a call it arrogant, call it smugness, or call it this delusional this thing. But I, so I remember I used to go to uh, producers used to call me just to unka lihaz rakhne ke liye, मतलब उनका उनकी respect रखने के लिए. I used to travel all the way to their office and tell them that no, I don't think I'll be able to do your show. She was like, but you know, I mean, uh, the money is great. Why would you say no to it? And we are giving you the lead. I said, no, no, you're giving me the lead. That is the problem. 
<laughs> I don't intend to do it. So they were like, uh, you know, we wish you all the best, but there is, I, I don't see that happening though. I'm like, let's see, time will tell. Yeah. And it when, did happen. Boy, uh, that that show did happen, and it was a male protagonist show. I'm grateful that it I yeah. came by that show. Then I remember on the last day of that show, I made a commitment to myself. That was 2017 February, that uh, I do not want to do anything which is infinite in nature, where I do not know when it is going to end. So that that was the last day I did something like that. Yeah, I was completely satiated and full and very grateful for this yeah. opportunity coming by. But I was very clear that uh, as a performer, I I don't think I'll be able to operate to my full capacity if I do not know the end point. Yeah. So 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 since then I've kind of stuck by that. Which and is when you shifted mediums. I shifted mediums. Now yes. when you shift to a medium, also I'm sure that also comes with its own share of challenges. Mm. What was for you like? What I have heard from my friends from the business is, कई बार वो TV tag लग जाता है. Hmm. नहीं वो tag कोई बुरा tag नहीं है. बिल्कुल. वो tag बहुत अच्छा tag है. मैं तो हम तो me and Sir Gun I think our television has been our financial backbone. Absolutely. Uh, जो रियाज आपको TV देता है मैंने कई दफा ये चीज बोली भी कि वो जो रियाज आपको TV देता है वो शायद और कोई medium आपको दे ही नहीं सकता. Hmm. Uh, अव्वल तो ये कि there is no such thing as a bonded script in television. you know you are getting a script uh, maybe just 5 minutes before your scene yeah it is the only medium that is essentially a medium of appointment viewing where i have to invite you in front of my television screen every evening or every afternoon uh, or every morning at a certain time slot i have to encourage you to drop whatever you're doing and you know come in front of the television screen to sample See my me. performance Correct. or sample my content you know so there is no such medium other than television that has this challenge everywhere else the content is for posterity hmm. you know you take you sh- you have a film the film is on ott you can watch it any time yeah. you have an ott show you you release a certain number of episodes then a certain number of episodes thus then baad bhi aap usko dekh sakte hain hmm. you don't have to particularly come at that hour and, and watch it so uh, television ko agar aap ek learning ground ki tarah agar aap rakhenge to itna sikhayega aur aisa sikhayega ki phir you will always have an edge Uh, मगर अगर आप उसको एक uh, ए, मतलब एक ऐसा मीडियम सोचेंगे जो आपके बैंक बैलेंस को सेशिएट कर देगा या आपको बॉइंट रखेगा तो वो करेगा जी आप जो चाहोगे उससे आप वो चीज़ निकाल सकते हो बिल्कुल समुंदर है आपके सामने आप चम्मच लेके जाओ करछी लेके जाओ परात लेके जाओ या यू नो यू कैन टेक एनी आउट ऑफ इट नो माई प्रॉब्लम एंड बिकॉज वी हैविंग ऑनेस्ट कॉन्वर्जेशन आई समटाइम्स रिली गेट वेरी 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 इरीटेटेड विद सम ऑफ द टेलीविजन एक्टर्स कम एंड सी आर टी वी एक्टर मत बोल दाइकट एवरी थिंग यू द रीजन पीपल नो यूज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस सो आम सो ग्लैड यू सेंग दिस यू नो मच मच अप्रिशिएटेड वॉट लिबर्टीज इट फ्राइडे 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 वॉट वॉट लिबर्टीज इट दैट गिव यू दैट लुक ऑफ योर्स इज के कैस इट इट रियली Uh, sends out a very strong message that this this content is going to make a statement. Now, thank you first of all for sampling that look. It means the world, and uh, uh, you and as as well as everybody who sent so much love to it. I did not expect that kind of attention coming to it and traction coming to it. I'm very grateful that uh, people have aligned with it because yes, there's no doubt about it that uh, you know it it is going to take uh, a lot of effort and a big leap of faith from us. as a team also me and sargun and our production house as as a whole as well so uh, what the film is about unfortunately i can't uh, uh, speak a lot about it right now it's but it's something which is more of a passion project hmm. for us and um, it is uh, i'm happy and proud to say that it is shaping up exactly the way we have the we, we have kind of had it in our in our minds eye what is the idea behind that look the idea is that that, that look synergizes with the character that uh faraday is which is uh so okay you know the first time i'm actually saying it uh, the character is that of a homeless guy in glasgow hmm so that's the character i mean i when when i kind of uh, envisioned this character i thought that this is how he should look so i had a certain look in my mind this is exactly how he should uh you know kind of he should look he should he should be wearing a borrowed robe and he should be smoking a half smoked cigar that he probably found in a dustbin so there was some elements that i put together plus i i thought that you know there was a trait that i felt that he should have that you know jo kisi ke paas bhakti waqt hota hai to kaise kaatega to maybe he's pulled out his hair you know all this while he's someone who's bit by bit kind of you know giving himself uh 
you know i i don't know, I, i if i keep talking about it i'll say too much <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah i i just had this uh, this thought that this is how this guy should look completely yeah. unhinged uh, not not uh, present yet not present you know yeah. there's kind kind of a blankness in his eyes all the time and so yeah was it emotionally taxing did it make you cry it is still point? in the process i mean we have shot a small schedule but uh, majority of the schedule still remains to be shot which we we will be doing this year hmm. mid this year and uh, the good thing is there are some people that that i hold in high regard and they have uh, you know shown a lot of keen uh, appreciation for the film and attention in the film and that's something that's really encouraging me yeah uh encouraging me not just for faraday but for subsequent projects of this magnitude as well or this kind of an envelope to be pushed and all of that so you know whenever i see you speak about sargun there's a lot of respect alongside love of course what is the foundation of this relationship respect i don't truly really understand love hmm i don't think anybody does whoever claims to is just uh, it's just frivolous i think uh, i don't know I, i i think i'll say something very unpopular is that uh, i think love is only meant to send sell greeting cards the real essence of any any relationship is, is always going to be respect you lose that there is no such thing as love it will respect has to outlive love yeah it has to really outlive love because if you have respect when all the novelty in an equation is exhausted it's evaporated uh you can see yourself together so when you when you see old couples holding each other's hand and you know sitting on a porch enjoying a cup of coffee or a glass of wine together it's respect it's respect everything that was noble about that relationship is over you know i mean they yeah. they don't look the same they they have spent all their everything that that has a first that was a first in that equation is over yeah you know the first house it's it's done the first car those moments those moments that bring all that newness and joy and evolution and children and what not everything is over yeah. now it's just them Yeah. Does she align with this? She, yeah, both of us align only with that. Yeah. We have great, great respect for each other. Me and Sargun, if uh, that is why I know that um, again an arrogant statement, but that is why I know we will, we will win. Amazing. Um, what do you want to do as an artist next? I want to push the envelope here. Hmm. Whether it is Faraday or anything else in the future. I with every project I I just want to push the envelope. I want to do something that's not been done before. You know, and not been done before I don't uh, say that nobody has done it before, but I want to do something that I haven't done hmm. before. And uh you know, I I can do hard work here. That's that's the one thing I can confidently say. I don't know if I can say anything else very confidently, but about myself. But I can do extreme hard work. You can you know if you can give me a task and i will finish it i'll finish it to the best of my ability and i'll try my myself that i you know I, i'll try my best that um, it will be to the person's liking as well so what do i want to do as an artist i think i just want to push the envelope yeah more power to you there thank you and um, i really wish all that you want to do and you imagine you manifest uh, becomes true in the future Thank you so much Ravi I had a great time in the book Likewise likewise brother Thank you so much like thank you Hi this is Ravi Dubey if you like this video like share and subscribe Pinkfella